Camilla is the oldest 21-year-old I've ever met. She has been through the ringer. She has tried to commit suicide multiple times, been on a 5250, uh, has tons of anxiety and depression so much that uh, she went to USC trying to get help. Uh, they saw a bunch of doctors there, put on a bunch of medication, and none of it helped. Uh, she's been to a bunch of chiropractors, and they're all terrible, too. Took some x-rays here, got her better, and uh, I'm going to let you watch. She hasn't slept for five years, she says. And so what is a sleep for five years thing? How long do you sleep for? What is, I mean, why do you say that, that that's your biggest problem? I mean, I feel like it, it takes a long time to fall asleep. The quality of sleep is kind of like um, odd. I feel like it's, um, I haven't dreamt in five years, actually. And so this has gone to such an extreme that she, again, anxiety, depression, even committed, tried to commit suicide a couple times, right? Did you say a couple times? Yes. Well, I 52 50 so I was a 72 hour hold just to, because I was a danger to myself, you know, that's gotcha. where they diagnosed me for the first time. And I was 16 at that point. And the like little table of psychologists kind of uh, were kind of, I guess, not, not impressed, but kind of like shocked that I had like severe, like major depression and anxiety. And, yeah. uh, yeah, they had put me on medication almost immediately and a bunch of different kinds of cocktails and nothing ever really worked. We work with anxiety and depression a lot in this office. Way more than you guys ever want to think. And so you guys haven't even told me, I haven't even talked about pain, have I? Not once. I understand what's going on and that by helping you get better sleep, which means adjusting you properly, you lower your anxiety, which lowers your depression, which lowers your chances for suicidal tendencies. And again, we save people's lives here. It's not the first time I've heard this. She's just willing to share it on camera, so thank you for that. Pain started. It started in the low back, and it just gradually got worse and worse, and it started changing, going up the back, into my hips, into my shoulders, and it just progressively went into my whole body. Yeah, you know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> right sciatica, low back pain, 8 out of 10. Um, constipation, tell us how, uh, how much of a rabbit you are. <laughs> um, maybe like every Boop. like Boop. three days. Is that how long has that been going on? Uh, since I was very young. Tell us about your asthma. Forever too, right? Um, I found out about the asthma when I was around like fourth grade and it's mostly just comes on when I'm exercising. So I'm literally allergic to exercise. She has daily headaches. She calls them like one or something really small headaches every day. Just in the but the migraines, how often they come when they come? Uh, at this point, just several times a month. Not, not that much, like <laughs> four times. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's better than it used to be. <laughs> Vertigo, how about the lightheadedness, dizziness? Um, that happens a little more often still, I think, when I stand up, I still kind of feel like... It's weird, just every once in a while, out of nowhere, like, my tongue will start getting numb, and it'll just slowly progress into, like, my lips. And then it just, I kind of just ignore it, kind of goes away, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and... Yeah, she's the most happy-go-lucky, in-pain, crazy chick I've ever met. I don't lose the ability to taste, I just feel like the taste kind of changes as I'm chewing, so either, like, it just... It, kind of like increases dramatically like something salty as I'm chewing will suddenly taste saltier and saltier or sweeter and sweeter and it'll just get worse and worse and I just as a result of this what's happened in the last uh, few months I've lost 30 pounds in the last like three months weight hasn't really done anything except yeah. maybe make me a little weaker, a little weaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you guys all want to say if she was 30 pounds heavy you'd be like oh she's freaking fat that's why she's in pain and don't give me that shit you guys wouldn't say that you guys all would say that and it's not right because again weight has nothing to do with it i say it over and over i prove it over and over i have these little twiggy chicks that come in here twiggy guys that come in here and they have tons of pain you know so it doesn't matter times a day what is that gabapentin yeah why are you on that uh just for the pain uh it's a, it's a nerve pain medication and yeah. uh honestly if i don't take at least 400 milligrams a day i feel very bad like i cannot three different guys saw me at usc oh so it was uh it was a spine doctor and i guess his like his uh, minions yeah his partner or whatever <laughs> and then it was a uh, rheumatologist so they both gave me different diagnoses and they disagreed with each other and uh either the rheumatologist is the one that gave me the prescription for the gabapentin he is the only one that was uh, kind enough to notice how much pain I was really in and uh, help me out a little bit because, I mean, because I'm so young, a lot of people really do think that, like, I'm, yeah, it's, it's not, not real. True. It's not real, exactly. You know, and that sucks. <laughs> it does. So, uh, my diagnosis as a UCLA grad, she's fucked up. <laughs> So, anyways, that's my education right there. Five different chiropractors. What about that? All these different chiropractors you went to? Um, I just went to a whole bunch of different chiropractors trying to feel better, you know, mm -hmm. I guess, because there was technically, like, nothing wrong with me, you know, like... You're then, crazy, yeah. Then I just kind of hope for the best and try to find, like, 
some form of solutions. I mean, I went to acupuncture, so I went to the joint, um, <laughs> and they uh, hurt me. You know, they uh, they kind of try to push too hard, and because it's not cracking, they're like, oh, let me just go a little harder in there, see if if something happens, and yeah. it's not the right thing to do. Yeah, just those, please. Okay. How much pain in your back then? Uh, like a four. Like a four? Yeah. Like this, please. Anything there? Um, like a three. Like a three? Okay, look at the floor with your neck. How about that? Like a three. Nothing. Nothing? Just a little crack. And then squat to the ground. Tell us about your knees. Yeah, my right knee still definitely uh, hurts. Uh, that one was up before. A finger on your belly. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that? Perfect, yeah, okay. perfect, yes. Well, for somebody who's nervous, she's actually doing pretty good. She's relaxed, real relaxing here, letting me do my job. Good. <laughs> I think the pain afterward that was crazy, not the crack. Well, now I feel really uneven, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, like balance. the left side's hurting, you let's, know. Like, let's, let's balance it out. Good. How's that? That felt Less like. Pain? Yeah, that one didn't hurt. Is this different than the other chiropractors? Well, first of all, Did you took an x ray. So. Oh, well, if you have an x ray, send it to me. If not, it doesn't matter. If you're going to see a chiropractor and he doesn't take an x ray, don't think that you're just saving money. Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. Gonna help Camilla up here. She, like all my patients when I first adjust them, can be a little dizzy, lightheaded. Uh, we're playing a little joke here. We're laughing, of course. But. We're gonna find out how she's doing. I hope she's doing better. Let's listen in. I feel it's tight. Like, um, I guess I didn't mention it because I you know, forget all the things that I have, but my collarbones are always very, very tight and there's always a lot of pain right here. And I feel like that's kind of like releasing, almost like I'm not forcibly being pulled forward by my own muscles. Gotcha. We forgot to check your breathing too. Take a breath real quick, I'm kind of curious. A little different, huh? That's crazy actually. Yeah. I always feel like I can't really fully extend my right lung. We're going to send Camilla down the hall here to recalibrate, spread that adjustment from her neck to her feet. Let's see how she's doing. You know, I feel like it's a little easier to walk. I feel like there's always um, the most annoying pain, and I feel like it's what the medicine is for, the gabapentin, is for the annoying pain on like the right side of my body. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess, I don't know where it comes from. And um, I feel like that's... I mean, it's still there, but it's like a two compared to like a six that's always constantly bugging at me. You know, I feel like that's definitely more bearable. Well, I feel like, there we go, floor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see she touched the floor now? No, no pain. You say no pain? No pain. Now it hurt before, right? It was a five or something like that before? Like a four, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. Back like this, please. How's that one? A little stretch, but no, no pain. Got you look at the floor. How about that? That's crazy. That's insane. That's like a hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, but hold on. Your low back pain almost went away or went away. And your neck pain wasn't nearly as bad, but that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's so tight. Like it doesn't, it's more, I guess, tolerable for me to like ignore it and forget that it's there, but I can't necessarily, t I'm not supposed to turn, but I can't necessarily turn my neck naturally or like down or really extend my arms because it just, it's so tight everywhere, you know, that it just kind of pulls out like mm -hmm. my whole, back like I look down and I feel like I pull at like my lower back mm -hmm. you know and that's like a one like that's insane that just feels really smooth I didn't have any pain before but that feels different that's for sure <laughs> it looks like a painter she's like she just said all the perfect things it's like, I'm not paying am I paying you no yeah you're paying not. me right I am paying yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm I didn't, I, you didn't get any discount. There's no money incentive to do this video, right? No, no, no. Good, good, good. Because I, I, I wish. Exactly. <laughs> I can't do that because then they wouldn't be objective, you know? That's true. That's so true. now, last thing, I'm going to fix your knee. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, it definitely went further. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's like even easier. Like, I don't have to, like, push yeah, like, as yeah, hard. Right? I mean, it's like, <laughs> like, it's like, oh my God, Dr. Dare, you're, you're so good. <laughs> I was a little nervous, honestly, but I didn't, it wasn't painful, like, the joint. Like, it was a little pain, but I feel like it's way different. It's not a, oh my God, please get me out of here, make it stop. It's kind of more of like a, oh, 
okay, okay, it's yeah. all good, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla uh, had one adjustment and she's been to five different chiropractors. How is this adjustment, the one adjustment different? It was the only one that showed any like physiological changes. Like, it was like right before bed. <laughs> I went poop. She went poopy. <laughs> she pooped. -ed -ed -ed. And she goes, uh, it was kind of interesting. She goes, you know, normally people say something, but they don't necessarily mean it's going to happen that time. I go, I promise, I, I promise from the top of Mount Olympus, I will make you a poopish. <laughs> I also slept very well. Yeah, and so uh, the thing she came with five years of non-sleep. First of all, I didn't move for about maybe four hours straight, and then I had a single dream that just kind of like progressed in a timeline. It was a normal dream, you know, the same thing instead of kind of like fifteen different dreams, kind of like jumping in between each other, like not really making any sense, kind of chaotic mess. Yeah, I love that she had a story with her dreams, and she goes, "I could follow through the whole episode, and then there was part two, and then it had a conclusion." I love that. I've never heard that before, because <laughs> usually I have a dream. It's like boom, boom. Um, for the longest time I slept with three pillows and then I went down to two pillows I have the fluffy pillow at the bottom and then like a smaller like thinner pillow like at the top and I prop it in between my shoulders in a specific way to hold my neck up and that's the only way that I can really sleep for five right years yeah okay and then, so I just for one time tell her what happened I couldn't sleep I couldn't sleep with the pillows I had to take off the top pillow I just I had to go like flatter I yeah. just it was hurting I just couldn't and as soon as I took it off it was like most important thing you came yeah. for. Tell us about that. Um, you know, I felt it was it was a little odd. I kind of like uh, it was very like low in my like lower back, like minimal. And for some reason, it was my neck that was hurting, which is like the left side of my neck. And it kind of went into my jaw a little bit. You know, I like uh, I mentioned last time, I my tongue actually went numb a little bit as it like traveled through. Only for a little bit, it went away. And then uh, since then, kind of like um, the pain is is different. You know, it's 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 um it's kind of shifted. Kind yeah. of like in a way, yeah, yeah. and also in, in the way my back is too. You yeah, know, like. and so I love this. I just like I love the honesty of this whole thing because you guys see that you know she's telling the truth and that her pain changes and pain change is good because we're actually making some differences. And so she got out of the car. She goes, like she goes, I got out of the car. I have zero low back pain after driving home. But she goes, my neck hurt like a seven out of ten. And I go. Okay, well, how's your low back? She goes, well, my neck hurts 7 out of 10. So, again, people always go, you just move pain around, Dr. Sir. The pink line is the center of mass of your body. Okay? okay? We want to see where the head is relative to that. And you can see it's over there, right? Yeah. This is the right side. That's the left side. So, it's 17.42 millimeters to the left. And that's a lot. Wow. Okay? And normally, we see people maybe 6 to 8. And that's bad, too. But this is really off. Okay? Now the next thing we look for is we look for, and we're not looking at the scoliosis yet, we're gonna look for this arrow right here. This arrow right here tells me your jaw is off. So see how this right side has less space and over here has more space? So the jaw is shift to the right. And again, you're gonna ask me why that's important. Well, at night, you grind or clench your teeth. You may jaw get tight. You may, your jaw may get pop, may pop sometimes. All those things are things that happen when the jaw is out of a line. And why is that important? Well, the more that this jaw is out of a line, the more it puts pressure back on the neck, which throws you back out of alignment. So not only are we going to work on her neck to create better balance, but we also have to work on her jaw. So she takes pressure off her jaw. So yeah, she That's doesn't talk scary. so much. She doesn't talk so much. That's very scary. Yeah. We can't do that any with you, Elizabeth. Nope. Okay. So 17.42 mils to the left. You also see her left shoulder is lower. So essentially her whole body is leaning to the left like this. She has a 10.5 degrees here and 11.8 here. And so these are bad, but these are areas of weakness. Wow. So this imbalance attacks these imba these uh, scoliotic patterns, okay? Because if this was mattered, I would have had to adjust this. I didn't, all I did was adjust her neck. One side, one side, okay? And we changed her balance. We changed the way the neurology affects this. So you guys are all gonna say, why didn't you address the scoliosis? Well, I did, and she's better. And again, five other chiropractors did adjust all these areas, but didn't get the kind of results that we got in one visit and by just just her neck. So you guys can say whatever you want, but that's the facts, Jack. She has a 15 degree scoliosis in her low back. Wow. Um, she has a left short leg. So again, everything's falling to the left, 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 left. Um, she has a little constipation here, and we already talked about her poopsies. And then, so, she also has all this white stuff. See this white stuff in here? That's all arthritis. I call it arthritis of the rib heads. It's not exactly that. But this means that she's had long-standing back pain for so long that she has probably 40 or 50-year-old rib heads in here. This is not supposed to be here. 
you and that's know, pretty ex extensive. Well, what's actually crazy is that like my mo when I'm in the most pain of all, when I'm like, please pass me my gabapentin, I also have to smoke like right now, like I can't take it. Yep. It goes from my back and into my ribs. Like yeah. it kind of goes like around. Yeah. yeah. You also have a tremendous amount of pelvic rotation. This right hip is really rotated. So her body is leaning to the left and it's tilted like this. So if I do this, it doesn't feel nearly as good. No, it doesn't even go as far. It doesn't go as far. But here, she's like all day. Yeah. This is not a sacralization. See this, this right up here? That is a enlarged transverse process right there. Can you see that on camera? Mm -hmm. And you look over here, this is a normal one. Can you see that? This is a normal one? Yeah. And this is a big one. See how it's big? Yeah. This whole thing's twice as big as this one. And you can see how it actually has an accessory joint right here. That's connected right there. There's no connection over here. Yeah. So this side is more jammed up because there's less space over there. And so that's a genetic abnormality, guys. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but again, you have an imbalance that's genetically throwing her whole back off. Not just the scoliosis, but all this. Spine looks okay on this view. There's a little bit of arthritis starting right there. Um, and again, I think that's that um, transverse process is kind of hooking things up right here a little bit. So there's some tension here. But the big thing on this one is, again, this, the uh, constipation. Okay, so her neck should be shaped like this yellow line, of course. We've talked about this many times in other videos. But you see it's a reverse curve. We call it a kyphosis because it's so extreme the other way. This arrow points to where the most important adjustment should be. It should be right here at the apex of this reverse curve. And that's what we did on her the first day. Her atlas is being affected because this curve going the wrong way inadvertently pushes this bone into that bone. And you can see the evidence of that, of this bottom bone being worn off right here, okay? And so why is that important? Well, the brainstem fits right in here and the brainstem gets irritated every time that bone gets touched. Oh. One last thing, or two last things, is one, she's a little, tiny little niblet off the back of her head. And so that is bone growth into her muscle. And that's occurring because she's had shitty posture for so many years. And what are you, 35, 45? <laughs> 21. 21, yeah. 21, already has all this stuff going on. Uh, so anyways, this is evidence that she's had poor posture for a number of years. Lastly, she has a wisdom tooth up here that still hasn't come in. <laughs> Only the one. Only the one. And the reason I say this is because, and you guys should all understand that wisdom teeth can put pressure on your jaw, which can also put pressure back on your neck. So it's not the end of the world to have this, but you should understand that it can influence your spine. Heading back to the treatment room, taking a look what normal looks like compared to her x-rays. So this is how it should be shaped, this curve. Mm -hmm. See, yours, yours goes the opposite way. Okay, and this atlas should be shaped like this. And yours is more like horizontal, and this should be round back here. So all those are clues that your spine has been out of a line for a number of years, and so it's wearing out. And you can hear this sometimes as a grinding sound when you move your neck. And so the way you were sleeping was actually um, uh, a compensation for how much your neck was going the opposite way. So you pushed it into the worst way, because why? Because it felt better. Yeah. So when I adjusted you, you couldn't do that because I actually fixed you to a certain percentage. Yeah. Okay. I think it's crazy how many tests that USC took and how much they uh -huh. charged USC. Uh -huh. USC took and how much they charged me for all these tests and they're yeah. still like, oh well, I mean it's been six months. You've got an injection on your back. Like we don't know what's wrong with you. Uh -huh. You're probably fine. You're exaggerating and uh, just just go to physical therapy and you'll you'll be fine <laughs> and it's like wow my mom's still paying for the bill <laughs> like i love hearing this shit so are you saying i'm smarter than all those usc doctors i mean they took an mri they took a good amount of x-rays i mean i don't know i, don't, I mean i don't know how much you have to stare at something to kind of like see it <laughs> sarcasm too <laughs> how much do those idiots have to stare at it to not know what's going on i do know what's going on i got Anyways, I am smarter than those guys, you know, <laughs> and a bag of chips. So, <laughs> so uh, thank you for that. That couldn't have been a better video so far. <laughs> okay, so. I'm genuinely angry. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I get it. And so how much money did you waste over there? A ton of money. Your mom's still paying off to do what? Squat. What do we do in one visit? More than they did in all that money, all that time, right? And you pooped. <laughs> and it slipped. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Anyways. All those USC doctors. God, that was funny. <laughs> okay, so right now you can feel this tension right here. Mm -hmm. This is exactly where your curve goes the wrong way. And so down here, it's not too bad. Up here, mm -hmm. but right there in the middle. Yeah. Right? <laughs> not here, not here, but here. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> 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 <That's so funny. laughs>
Yeah. And actually, I feel very uneven, and I would appreciate it if you went the other way, because it feels weird. <laughs> right there at the apex of your curve is where the problem is, and we're gonna push that, and we're just encouraging it to go the right direction. Okay. You can do it with your eyes open if you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, as she was thinking, as she was thinking about doing it with her eyes open, <laughs> I that was called a distraction.